just arrived on location in Cairns for the dojo that we're staying in for the first few days. Track at Smithfield sounds pretty sweet. All reports all smooth and flowing, so keen to get it, get started, just get the whole thing underway. I feel a bit nervous actually, but I'm nervous is sometimes a good thing before a race, gets you fired up a bit. Can you tell us what happened, Just? Um, jam the pedals and threw the rear view rail up. Luckily today was quite a short stage. Only, what was it, an hour and a half, two hours. So hopefully we'll get the recovery and we'll see how tomorrow goes then. Past the second feeding stop, the was last climb of the day, and that just really nearly killed me. Typical preparations before a croc stage: bags tend to explode out of there in the back of the car, bottles on bikes, two tubes on the bike, camera, GPS, plenty of chain lube on the chain. Because as you can see, the remains of the day it's pretty dusty out there, but running a pretty heavy lube, make sure that's running well. And, uh, and keep it keeping it working nicely. And then it's pretty much park up till we're ready. much what I thought to be honest really hot uh, it's pretty hard very fast competition the racing is uh, from the gun is you know really fast and it's just starting to really see the outback now especially today you know we're literally in the middle of nowhere hardly saw anything all day and then just turn up with this little town with just one pub and a couple of houses wow. oh, Eight, eight days so far. Had a support vehicle with us, um, one of the Subarus, and it's been really essential. There's a variety of spares we've been running in it just to keep us going. So we've had a spare set of wheels. This is actually Justin's front wheel. He did tear a tire yesterday, so it was easier just to uh, chuck it in. But still got a spare rear, obviously. Got a few boxes of things back here. So spare tires and, and uh, bottles in there. Go through a lot of bottles. You do lose them. They do just get filthy. We wash them as much as possible, but it's not really worth playing with your hygiene. Whole box here of uh, our energy foods. So we've got lots of bars left. Turns out in the hot weather that we're just chewing through gels. Justin's diabetic, so we have an extra food box for him, filled with chips and lollies and uh, lots of cokes. Got our bags, toting some extra people's stuff. Always more water because you just can't think how much water fluid you want to get in at the end of each stage. Uh, it's easy to put down one and a half litres and still need to put more in. In the front, just got a stage plan. So, just so we, we don't lose track of uh, how far each stage is, and then we are taking it in turns writing a report and writing with a camera. And then it's just a case of, of apathy, and we just kind of end up leaving our stuff all over the car. I think I've come in here and left my, left my recovery drink mix on the windscreen. Contents in my pockets, some filthy eyewear from the day. Just ends up being a flat surface as well to dump things on, but it's been really useful having somewhere to keep all our food and not have to uh, not have to just rely on uh, on packing only what you can into a bag.
how would this rate today? 145 k's into a head headwind. Handicap. 